Good evening, guys. In this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, data binding with a uh, time leaf, which will have a very basic functionality, which is I have a form page, which is wrote in the view is a uh, time leaf. And then I will um, show you how to do the data binding, use the time leaf syntax and automatic bind the values into your controller. Okay, and uh, let's start. So here I already have my uh, models ready, okay, which has employee, has a one-to-one -one association, uh, sorry, one -to yes, one-to-one -one association with address and uh, unit uh, directional and uh, employee has ID, uh, first name, last name, address, address have street, state, zip code, okay. Uh, actually, there's no changes in controllers just as you did before in uh, where uh, when you work with the spring and vc work with the gsp the only change part should be the templates because we are no longer using gsp we are using time leaf so first let me create a controller okay it, i will call it call employee controller and uh, let me annotate with the controller and uh, here I will have a one first get a mapping and I can give multiple URL slash or slash add okay add employee you can do like add EMP okay gonna have a method called uh, get employee form and uh, since we are using the like a spring form way and uh, with spring form you have to add a model attribute here and you can give a key doesn't matter like a emp okay and the employee emp and if you have other fields you can add a model then you can add into your uh in html page and here we just return suppose this one we call emp form page okay and in our post mapping, I'll write everything first. Okay. In, uh, in your first uh, post mapping, you can do yes, add EMP. Okay. You can have the same URL, but differentiate with them, differentiate them with the HTTP method. Then we're using public string and self EMP. And here you can also use mode attribute. But if you do not do it, it will still be fine. So here I will just using mode attribute here. And the next one I'm gonna do is I will redirect to my data page. So here I will have a redirect attributes. It's not necessary every time you have to have a redirect attributes based on your requirement. Suppose here we will save to DB, okay? We are fake, we are faking it. So we're gonna save and ra dot add flash attribute and you can give a key. If you don't give a key, by default, you have to take a look at the value. This is a value in this attribute for this attribute and you have to take a look at what's the type of this value. The type of this value is employee. So default key gonna be the type, okay? But the first letter is a lowercase, okay? And uh, if you, you can also give your own, like I suppose here I call self the employee. And here we will redirect, return. I will redirect to the tail page. How about that? Okay. And here I will have another data mapping and we will go to slash the tail. Okay. And here we will public string and uh, detail return uh, let's use an emp detail okay details or detail detail match okay and that's it for our controller if we have something which is missing we'll come back and the next step is to create the form a uh, template okay we are using time leaf so we just need to create a html Time leaf is using what? Using the non standard attribute to render the dynamic content, right? 
First thing make here is uh, have the namespace. If you don't have, it's gonna work, but uh, you're gonna have a lot of warning uh, error uh, in your ID, which doesn't look very nice. Okay. Uh, time, time, leave dot org. And then in the body here, you can have a title like a add a new, add a new employee. And the next step, you can have a form, regular form. And uh, since you are using regular form, you have to make sure the method is post because by default, HTML form method is a post, uh, get. Then you have to cast, make sure it's post so you're gonna submit to this place. And uh, if you want to using th action to guarantee gonna go to this post mapping, what you gonna do is you can use th action and using this at to generate the URL for you, okay? And uh, there's another one, which is for the binding. Previously in spring form, here using model attribute. Now you're using th object. And then what's the key? What's the key in the controller? The key is this one. So here, you have to use the key to grab. This is a very, this is kind of like a, a selection expression, okay? Uh, if you are not familiar with this one, you should go back to the selection expression video to review that. It has a variable expression, it has selection expression, it has a message expression, you have the UI expression. You take a look at the selection variable expression. Okay, selection variable expression. And let's have each of the field. Uh, first one is suppose we can give ID. Then you still using input. Okay, type is default. And how to bind using th field and a quote and using the selection. Okay, this is selection th field. And here you give the employee which field we are giving. ID so you copy ID here this use already select the employee object here using th field bind to ID okay and you have a same thing for the first name last name right and here we will have a first name let me make a space here and here we will have a last name what okay a little bit and what's the field here it's better to copy you know okay and uh, first name next one is what last name right and now we have to go to the address so let me add the address here okay address address also has uh, three fields I don't know one type I just want to change the first one is a street. The second one is a state, right? The last one is called the what? Zip code, okay? And so how to bind the, the fields here for the street, the state, zip code? Almost identical as you do when using the GSP. So this one is bind to employee object, okay? Employee object has address. So from address, you can get street. First, you have to go to address, then bind to where? Bind to the street, okay? Same thing for the, what? Same thing for this state, and the same thing for the zip code, okay? And the last one, zip code. That's it. Uh, I think you should be familiar with uh, this, th those things, okay, which is uh, just another syntax, how to do the binding. Here we're using th object, bind those fields to this uh, controller employee object. And uh, after that, all of them are using selection variable expression.
Okay, those 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 are the fields in the employee. Address are also the fields in the employee, right? And the street state zip code is the fields inside your address. Okay. And the last one, I will add a submit button, and I will give value. Value is what? Value is uh, uh, add. Okay. How about that? So that's it for the employee form, uh, employee form HTML. The next one I want to do is to have a detail, right? The name is called the EMP detail. Okay, we will go here, add another HTML called the EMP detail. Suppose here I call EMP details, okay? And here we just display the information about what we submitted in the form. So let's do it. Uh, ID, okay. Uh, ID, and uh, for every dynamic content you want to display on the HTML, you have to using non-standard attribute. Okay, so here I will have a th text. So you must have a non. -standard you must have a pair of, uh, what's the thing? HTML element. Then add a non standard attribute that on that uh, HTML element. Then this non standard attribute will be processed at the runtime. So name space, okay, uh, th equals HTTP dot time, time leave dot org, okay? And here, what's the value for this one? And we have to go back to our controller. The key is called a save the user, okay? And go back to the detail using dollar sign. This is called a variable expression. You can also using selection of objective expression. If you are interested, you can go back to take a look at by yourself, okay? I will put a link there, variable expression and selection variable expression. Selection expression. EID. Okay, what is oh, here? And uh, uh, you will do the other corresponding here. Okay, we just ignore it. I think it might be because of the problem of after when we're using long book. Okay, so let me double check. Saved. Okay, go to detail. Seems everything works, and we will go. Copy, 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 copy. Six. That's it. And if you want to have first name, you're using first name. And if you want to have last name, just to have a last name. Okay. If you want to have the street, self employee, then go to address. From address, you get the street, right? And exactly the same thing for other. Okay, state, S-T-A-T, -E. and the same thing for the address, dot Z code, right? And you also need to change it here, like this part, this is gonna be Z code, and this is gonna be the street, state, and this is gonna be what? This is gonna be the street, and this is gonna be the last name. And this is gonna be the first name. Okay, everything that is done, we complete the controller, we complete the uh, time leaf, the view page. So let's run and see if everything works. When the application starts, it's gonna go to the slash, right? Then it's gonna display our employee form page. Okay, started successfully. Let's go to our browser and make a call to localhost 8080. So this part, uh, not very nice. Uh, the look and the feel is not a good. Uh, this is our new play page, and uh, let's create ID 
This is the first name, and the first name is Miss, last name XING. The street, suppose I using the north, okay, and the state using IA, and the zip code using 52556. And when I click add, it will go to the detail page, and everything is show successfully. Okay, so let me summarize. There's no changes in your controller. You just do as you did before when using GSP, okay? And uh, the only change part is to do the binding. Uh, because the time leaf is using the non-standard attribute and it's actually an HTML, it's a natural template. Uh, when you want to submit a form, you're still using the regular HTML form. And uh, how to do the binding using th object instead of using model attribute. And here using variable exp uh, expression. Variable expression? I think it's, uh, it's variable expression. And here, this is gonna be the key you put inside your model attribute. This is the key, okay? And uh, for binding, using th field to do the binding. And here, this one is called a selection expression using the asterisk. And you select each of the field inside this employee, which is each of the field inside this employee class. And make sure for all the fields, you have a getter setters, okay? Otherwise, it won't work. Make sure it has a getter setters. You can use in long book, or you can use in the uh, ID to generate, or you generate it by yourself. And uh, another one, if you have a nested relationship, which means uh, association, if you have an association, like uh, this one, employee has uh, address, okay? Then uh, how can I bind these three fields to address object? You cannot directly using address here, because if you use address, you have to have a formatter. Instead, we're using nested relationship, which means uh, First, it will bind to address, then it will bind to address street, okay? And it's, this one is bind to address state, this one is bind to address, it's a field in employee, and bind to address street state zip code, okay? This is how to do the binding. And how to display the information? Still using non-standard attribute, okay? Uh, you have to have a HTML tag included to using the non-standard attribute. Suppose you don't want to have a span. You, on, the, on the browser, currently displayed is like this. You have a paragraph, you have the ID, then you have a span, contains the information you submit. Suppose you don't want to have this span, how to do that? You're using a th remove, then you give a tag. Okay, let me show you the difference, okay? Okay, good. And we go back, and we go to the eddy eddy, and uh, one, let's use my channel name, okay? State IA and uh, 52556, okay? Click add. And let's inspect this one. You will see the difference. Okay, let me make it larger. The difference for the ID, you didn't see the span, but for the first name, here has a span here. So if you don't want to have this span, you can do yes, add a th remove tag. It won't have this span, this tag when it generates the HTML for you. Okay, so that's it. Uh, to do the how to do the uh, what's the thing data binding when using the time leaf, and uh, if you have other questions, you can leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video. See you. Bye bye.